so there we go we have the basic fade in of that and now what you want to go and do is you want to go and on the CD C well the main text you have if I hit T that will bring up the opacity so you want to start off the opacity keyframe it and have the pointer to the beginning go to 0% then as it as it's just coming towards the text like there so it would just be hitting the text and in fact make a new keyframe there if I, fact, don't do that. if I then just click on the down arrow on the CD go to opacity here and then hit the keyframe that will, you can then see the keyframes and you can adjust it simpler well not as simple but more in-depth then if you then keyframe it to when it's filled up all of it about there maybe a bit more like that and then you can change the opacity to 100 not 10 100 there we go so then as you see that just wipes the text along with the uh, the light factory so it looks like the light the light is bringing on the text as well now you can see the chrome designs logo here is just plunked there so you want to go to effects and presets make sure it's not there so that's what I like go to animation presets text then go to animate in then if you scroll down it's called slow fade on so just drag that on the chrome designs then you can drag the bar so it doesn't show up straight away so as you see here's the thing and then about there that's quite well actually so it's come on and then about there it starts to fade on the screen that's quite nice so then you have that which is nice and then you can go to chrome just then you can merge those two layers well pre-compose and after effects so by highlighting them both holding control and go to layer and pre-compose I'm going to call this title so that basically just makes it a bit cleaner and you can add effect to both of them at the same time <coughs> so you have the general wipe in now and the chrome design showing we want it so you've animated it in you want to animate it out so basically you're just going to do the exact same just reverse it so click down on the layer that you added the, the glow onto so I'm going to go to down and then effects and LF glow light factory glow and go to about five seconds I'm going to make it start to fade out and simply just add a keyframe by hitting this button here then go into about six seconds and dragging the brightness all the way down to about a hundred really because when it goes down to a hundred and zero the scale is much smaller other than a hundred to two hundred so if you just do it to a hundred so it fades back away reversed of fading back on like we did in the first place you then want to make the text to follow it so it fades back out with the glow so again you just hit go down there and go transform opacity you want to line it up to when it, the D is just getting touched on the glow wiping away so about there so if then hit oh, hit the keyframe button on opacity change it make sure it's on 100 percent and then when does it pass it passes about there say about there then you want to change it to zero percent so basically just again fades along with the glow so that's pretty much it uh, as you can see it's very simple fades in with the text chrome designs fades on and then the glow fades out with the text now to make this blend in if you're using this in any projects um, you want it to fade in black and fade out black purely because the basically on Vegas and all of them programs the background predominant color is black so if you just make a new solid 
and instead of fading it normally, instead of fading all of the individual ones, if you just make a black and reverse it, so if you again hit, if you just hit T on this one and keyframe opacity, make sure it's delete that keyframe rather, make sure the type pointer is at the start, keyframe opacity on 100, and then about half a second in, change it to zero. Then go to the end, about half a second before. But then go to the end, to the end. Add a keyframe for zero, and then just before that, it can then go to a hundred. So basically, that's the basic intro we have here. If we then just input, add a keyframe there and make it 0% that way it won't be affected at all along these two keyframes there and there otherwise it will slowly fade from that 0 to, the, to that which will look rather horrible so as you see there's we go if we make a dynamic RAM preview I don't want to go over the time limit by the way so I'm kinda of rushing this then click there we go play fades on chrome designs then it just fades back out okay so there we go that's basically it um, you can obviously modify a few colors for example if you go to the background LF glow you can change the two colors I just use the default ones because they're quite nice to be quite honest uh, if you see here you can see there you can change the color to a blue any color you like I would recommend a soft color if you're using white not a harsh sort of solid red so sort of like a light maybe baby blue like green but anyway that's all up to you so I'm gonna go now guys um, please subscribe and um, if you haven't obviously uh, favorite and rate and comment if you have any queries or just to say nice tutorial but yeah rate what you think it deserves uh, appreciate all ratings I get if you could rate that would be all the better because it helps my channel get out there more and me will, I will then bring you more tutorials so anyway I'm heading off now guys and I'll speak to you soon bye